It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles under the lights on Thursday night. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So the Commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual-threat athlete at the quarterback position beats you with his arm and his legs and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? In motion left comes Brown. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And that'll hit and kick out of bounds, they say, right at the 50-yard line. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off a season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down and three. Throwing his hurts. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, 
He ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Hurt sets up to throw it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. It fights him off. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that <laughs> at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described... And now, before we get to the extra point, remember, all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-zip. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Throwing now is Daniels. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. To throw is Daniels. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. 
They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. And he's got this down to the 35. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. It's caught. Smith. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And the slot man goes in motion left. Hurts. Steps away. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Barkley again. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward. Touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line.
The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Off the play fake, Daniels. And he will slide down with a good game. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Well, they go play action. Daniels. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target. Able to pick up another first down. the wrong way there losing yardage back at the 43 yard line officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 when a draw works it can be a thing of beauty but when it does it oh it can be ugly and in this case loss of yardage ugly so after the loss of a yard they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11 the quick throw knocked away it's incomplete and he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. After that play, we're going to get a pause here, an injured player, and that's the tight end, Zach Ertz, in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Now a second and six. Here's Hurts to throw. Quick slant here to Smith. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up third and one. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. 
51 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. They keep it with Barkley on first down. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. They lost a big chunk, six yards there, and it leads to fourth down. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Got a man. It's the rookie out of the third round. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Now Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. First and ten, it's Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This is going to be third and 13. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Now second and three. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. 
pushing through the contact. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To the air goes Daniels. And this is caught. It's Brown. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Play action, now it's Daniels. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll motion out one of the tight ends. Robinson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. That time a nine play drive and it was capped off by the touchdown run from Brian Robinson. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it but we know they're going to continue to be bold. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle here to Brown. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. 
On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Daniels looking to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Here's Daniels. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well, and now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, that's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this one complete to Smith. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Barkley inside handoff. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 78 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. A run on first down with Shipley. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. 
Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten, so now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. From the two now, second and goal. In motion right is Smith. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Third and goal, here's the option left. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Touchdowns on their first three possessions, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to 7. Yeah, very impressive the way that they've moved the football. Full command of their playbook, full command of the way they wanted to attack. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Daniels from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. From a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. 
Working out of the gun, Daniels. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 23. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. Back to throw now on first down. Sets up the screen to Robinson. The first down screen pass, good for five. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball, but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Here's a second and five. Throwing now is Daniels. Wide open receiver complete. And he takes it in for a Commanders touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Commanders get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Eagles offense and running back Saquon Barkley ready to get going again. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big hole after big hole to run through in this first half. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. Complete. Smith has it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and a couple. Hurts. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Third and eight. Hurt sets up to throw it. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. 
Here's Braden Mann now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Eagles were led in the first half by their dynamic quarterback, Jalen Hurts. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So just three yards on the completion there. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Being chased out left. And he gets it down to the 32. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Gets him nine yards at a first. Remember, Brandon, he ran for a touchdown earlier, so his decision to go ahead and tuck it and go again turned out to be a wise one. And the decision is what is important here. He has made some good decisions on when to tuck it and go. They'll look to throw here on first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big gain. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. He'll look to throw. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away.
Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead now up to 14. So the drive there took six plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and four. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. To throw is Daniels. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Daniels. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. This rookie was already being tested as he tries to lead a comeback here in the second half. Now he's got to get some momentum back after that sack and a big loss. Here's Tressway now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And this defense has got to be at its wits end, trying to come up with ways to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go, and he's turned a number of those opportunities into big plays. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Second down and six now. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. 
It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Here's Hurts to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr., that time, finally, a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case. That has to feel good for the defense. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Second and ten. Back to throw. Daniels. Complete to Zacchaeus. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. That is caught. He's going to pick up the first down and then some. And he will work his way out of bounds here at the 25-yard line. Big yardage that time for Washington. 46 yards. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there. A big pickup on third down. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. By the great coach, said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Robinson on a give right side. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Daniels steps away to his left. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. 
They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third down, Daniels. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Seibert's kick is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. After the made field goal, Seibert back out there to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. From the 42-yard line, here's second down at a yard. Now back to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. They got a completion there, but that's clearly an example of one side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very, <laughs> hey, take one or two yards, we're good with that. Offense, you've got to expect to get more on the passing play. And they run the option here on first and 10. Oh, some strong running. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Beating him there with his legs, 21 yards, first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. A first down carry for Barkley. Even with him busting through the contact, he'll still be stopped just inside the 35. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Looking to throw on second down. Hurts. Oh, well, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. And with the way things have gone so far tonight, I figured this was going to be a touchdown because he's wide open. But instead, the ball's laid out just a bit too far, and they come up empty. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. They'll set up a throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play.
And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll run with Barkley. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's got his big tight end here. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And they'll try the option on first and goal. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw in here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Dante Fowler able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. A 33-yarder from the left hash. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. 
Here's second and ten. To the air goes Daniels. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and forever. Looking to throw. Daniels under pressure, and they got to him again. Jalen Carter, his second sack of the night. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Here's Tressway now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. Second down, here's Barkley again. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. Here is third down and four. Looking to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Well, another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. They go play action. Daniels. Open man down the field. It's a tight end center. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 
Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Daniels looking to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Robinson up the middle. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 23, this is second and three. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. 41 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second and six. Here's Daniels. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Oh, nice job there, putting the ball right in the doorstep of the goal line. Couldn't quite get into pay dirt, but he got awfully close. Let's see if they can cash it in over the next couple of plays. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Jaden Daniels. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And able to get this out to the 25. The home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here they got to the outside, turned it upfield and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. 
up the middle with Barkley. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now second and five. They'll try the left side with Gamewell. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Give to Barkley out of the gun. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Now a second and ten. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Back to throw. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. It's a gain of 14 there, and that should be enough to get them home free. Partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share them with the home team. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. 